It's so bright out yeah. here. Summer. Holy cow. Summer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Oak Strength Vlog episode. One. Vlog, vlog, that's a video blog, video. Adam, why are we doing this? Yeah, Adam, why are we doing this? Thanks for asking. Here's our thought. We, 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 we want to just look to support local, sweat local, eat local, thrive local, local H. The band from the 90s? Nope. Anywho, we, we, we just want, we want to highlight all the fantastic stuff that we have within our, our fantastic community yep. in the way of how you can work out, how you can eat, drink, and be merry. But in a healthy way. Enjoy. Five, welcome. We are ready to sweat local here at Aldine Park. It's a wonderful hill, and hill sprints are one of the best workouts you can do. Different than just regular running or, or walking, hill sprints give you an incline. It puts a different stress on the muscles. So it's a great way to get a cardiovascular workout, but also to get kind of a, a muscular burn, um, to, to lean out, and just work your entire body head to toe versus like just working your biceps. So it's a really good inclusive workout. When you think about it, we all we all want to work out and it's hard sometimes to find the perfect gym that, that fits your needs, maybe the location, the hours that they're open. And let's be honest, a lot of us are strapped for time. We got things to do, places to be, and it's it's hard sometimes to get a good workout in. So we wanna find places that are local, that are just free, out and open, that you can hit up for a good workout. So this is one of them. Before you do anything though, caution, sprints can be very taxing to the body especially the next day, super sore in your hamstrings, and they can be dangerous if you have not been working out. So we're not saying to go from couch to sprints, but you can start with just coming over here and walking the hill up and down, doing that repetitively for a while. But if you're someone who has been working out and you want a little bit of a harder workout, we're gonna give you some ideas of how you can do that. First things first though, you wanna warm up a little bit. So as I mentioned, walking is great, but also stretch out the hamstrings a little bit. So you can kinda of lean and reach for the back of your leg to stretch that out. Your calves are gonna be huge as well because it's an incline. So your calf muscle is being worked with tension and also it's being stretched. So you really wanna make sure you warm that up. You could do calf raises where you just stand to your toes and you could even just stretch your calf by lifting your toe towards you and reaching for that toe. Once you're warmed up, you're ready to start. There are three basic options for a hill workout. You can go speed, you can go distance or for time, and you can also go mixed modal or doing a little bit of both. So first things first, if you wanna do, let's start with distance, that's an easy one. We would simply sprint up the hill as fast and hard as we can, and then we would jog, not walk, jog back down. And that would be continuous, up and down, up and down, for either 10 reps or maybe for a time period, like five minutes. The other option, which would be more speed or athletic based or really more interval training, would be sprint up the hill, rest, walk down, and repeat, rinse and repeat. Something like that, again, can be very, very tiring, so be careful with how many sprints you do. And you could even mix it up and do a sprint and walk, and the next one, do a sprint and jog. The last option is going to be sprinting up the hill and then doing some type of movement at the top of the hill. You could do push-ups, you could do sit-ups, you could do squats, anything that's going to be body weight. So sprinting up the hill, doing a motion, coming back down. There's your three options to sweat local here at Aldine Park. We're gonna get after it, here we go. So after the workout, you wanna make sure one, you hydrate up. And two, you eat local. That's what's next. We are at Baker Street Burgers here in the Edgebrook Center and uh, beautiful little place. It's got kind of the industrial warehousey feel. Uh, everything's like brand new. It's absolutely gorgeous. So with everything that's going on, uh, you know, we wear masks coming in, but then once you sit down, you can take your masks off, but we have to uh, look out, look at the menu on the website. So we're gonna check out the menu and uh, find some, some healthy but, but tasty options and uh, see how you can kind of meet in the middle. 
What are you, what are you, what are you looking for? Because it's we're at a burger place. Yes. Adam wants a burger. He does. Mm -hmm. The burgers are good, and they have a lot of options. Uh, yeah, so looking at the burgers, when you when you get a burger, you know that burgers are gonna be a good source of protein, but also high in fat. So I just try to look at what else will be on the burger. If there's bacon and cheese and maybe some fried onion rings or all these different other options, those are also really, really, really high in fat. Um, so maybe try to pick one that has less like five types of cheese and bacon and shredded pork and you know, uh, limit that as much as you can. On the flip side, if you kind of do want that stuff, you just gotta be really careful about the rest of your day. So earlier in the day, you could eat lean and green and then kind of save your calories for here. Or if you're here, get the burger and skip the fries or skip the you know Pepsi or Coke or the, the sugary drink and just focus the most majority of your calories on the actual burger. How well did you eat today? I ate very well actually. I had some eggs and, and veggies for breakfast and then I had a smoothie for lunch so I am I'm ready to go ham after mm -hmm. that workout. So Lauren wants a burger. A burger. I think I might just go crazy and get the Kansas City. Everything I everything I said not to do. That's a whole lot of everything. Can I get a gluten free bun? Do you want the Kansas? Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. I'm making a choice. I'll do your, I'll do your salad. Salad? What yeah. kind of dressing would you like? Blue cheese, ranch, balsamic. Do you have like a vinaigrette? Balsamic. That, what, what? Balsamic. Balsamic? Okay, perfect. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, he's the Thank you. Yep. You're Thank welcome. You. Here you are. This is beautiful. Is there anything else I can grow for you folks at the moment? It's great. I think we're good. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Eat local. Yes. <laughs> This looks beautiful. It is. It is. Yeah, are we getting this? Are we getting this I in think the shower? Yes. My, my water. Delicious. I did everything. Everything looks good? Amazing. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you. I did everything I told you not to do. Not everything. I mean, kind of. We'll explain. A so, lot of it. Yeah. So I, I got the burger with the pulled pork and the bacon and the cheese on it. But that's had, so big that you have to stab a knife you, you through do. it to it's, keep it together. And, and it, the whole knife is taken up mm -hmm. by the burger. Um, but I've had no fat today, pretty much. So I'm okay with that. Um, and I've been... Lauren's been prepping for this. I, I was so ready, guys. <laughs> I haven't had a meal. burger in okay. forever. Not that, that could, they're just, they just haven't done it. I haven't been out to eat, really. But I got a gluten-free bun, not because I'm trendy, but because uh, it literally does not agree with me. I feel very upset. Uh, stomach digestive wise when I have it so I still want a burger I want to feel the crunch and you know have a bun so they have that option here it's great but you did better here in the way of instead of getting the the fries, the fries. I, I, I was this close guys I want the sweet potato fries but I just gave you advice on how to not do that mm. so we got the side salads and then uh, dressing they have a balsamic I'm not sure let me, let me taste test that's very sweet so there's a lot of sugar in this so I might use half of it be because dressings pack the calories and it's hidden calories a lot of times. Just gotta watch out for that. Enjoy. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I need space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect, Very thank good. you. Very good. Lauren, how's your bun? The gluten-free bun. You know, I probably got about this much of it in my first bite because there was so much burger, but I'm gonna taste the difference. All I care about is what's inside the burger. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. good. I like it, yeah. I like the gluten free. Mm hmm. Good choice. If that if, if, if it bothers you. Right. Yeah. It's good. I've never videotaped myself eating before. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm like, I bet I got stuff in my face. Feel it. Yeah, clean them up. There you go. Just, you missed a spot. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's better. It's good. What'd you think? Uh, I'm stuffed. But also... It's a good would, thing you ran earlier. Would love to have another. <laughs> that whole, you know, lots of carbs and fat thing. And I would love to have another. But I'm just gonna let my tummy settle. Mine was excellent. Yeah. Highly recommend, 10 guys. 10 out of 10. Would yeah. come again. Yes. Yes. If you're in the area at Brook Center, this is the place. BSB. BSB. Check them out. See you guys.